Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Hi everyone, I'm Cheyenne Malone. It is Wednesday. Welcome back to CBT News. Let's get started with today's top stories. The United Auto Workers filed charges with the National Labor Relations Board yesterday against Donald Trump and Elon Musk, accusing them of threatening and intimidating workers during a two-hour conversation on social media platform X. The UAW claims that comments made by Trump and Musk during the discussion, which touched on workers going on strike, violated federal labor laws that protect workers from being fired for striking. UAW President Sean Fain condemned the remarks, calling them, quote, disgusting and illegal. The complaints come after a recent UAW endorsed strike against Detroit Big Three automakers, which resulted in significant labor gains. The NLRB has limited authority to penalize such actions, but can issue orders to cease illegal conduct. Ford and Mazda have issued a critical do not drive advisory for certain vehicles that have yet to be repaired under previous Takata airbag inflator safety recalls. The advisory affects several Ford models, including 2004 through 2006 Ford Ranger trucks, 2005 through 2014 Ford Mustangs, and 2005 through 2006 Ford GTs, as well as various Mazda models from 2003 to 2015. The aging Takata airbag inflators in these vehicles pose a serious risk, as they may explode and release sharp metal fragments during a crash, potentially causing severe injury or death. Ford urges affected owners to contact dealerships immediately for repairs, offering mobile services, towing, and interim loaner vehicles if needed. This is Ford's second Do Not Drive advisory related to Takata recalls, with 95% of affected vehicles in the U.S. already repaired. Ford and Mazda continue to notify owners through multiple channels to ensure vehicle safety. General Motors is recalling 24,200 all-wheel drive 2023-24 through 24 Cadillac Lyric electric crossovers in North America due to a software defect in the anti-lock braking system that may cause it to falsely activate at speeds under 25 miles per hour on dry surfaces. This malfunction can reduce brake effectiveness and increase crash risk. The recall, disclosed to the NHTSA on August 8th, primarily affects vehicles in the U.S., with about 2,700 units in Canada and 140 in Mexico. GM's investigation, prompted by two minor accidents and a related complaint, found that specific wheel movements could lead to continuous brake pressure release. The company will resolve the issue by updating the electronic brake control module software, which can be done remotely or at a dealership. GM has begun dealer notifications and plans to inform owners by September 23rd. In July 2024, new vehicle prices in the U.S. declined for the 10th consecutive month, with the average transaction price settling at roughly $48,000, slightly down from June and the previous year, according to Kelly Blue Book. This price jump is attributed to higher inventory levels and increased incentives, which have shifted the market in favor of buyers. Despite these trends, high auto loan rates and tight credit conditions continue to limit industry sales. The average ATP for a full-size pickup truck was notably high at roughly $66,000, while the average price for electric vehicle rose to nearly $57,000, although it remains lower year over year. Incentives reached their highest level in over three years, averaging 7% of ATP. The market is in stark contract with the popularity of affordable compact SUVs and the continuing high prices of luxury and electric vehicles, including the Tesla Cybertruck, which remains one of the priciest models on the market. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Shannon Robertson, Executive Director at the Association of Finance and Insurance Professionals, to discuss the importance of robust compliance measures and cybersecurity training within the dealership. Take your dealership to the next level with over 6,800 on-air interviews with dealer and industry leaders. CBT News, dealer's most trusted source for news, content, and analysis. What do, you, what do you say about all of these, uh, you know, all of this that's happening with CDK Global? I mean, 
there's dealers out there right now that are very nervous, right? Well, and should be nervous. I mean, I think what we're learning in today's environment is that, you know, anybody can be attacked from a cyber standpoint. I mean, nobody can be fully protected, but there are some things that we can be doing to make sure we're protected the best we can be. Mm -hmm. Um, and, And there's these compliance requirements are not new. Right. The safeguard rule changes have been out of several years. There are things that dealers were are required to be doing mm-hmm. um, and required to keep those updated. And I think a lot of dealers in the last month or so have aggressively gone back to review their safeguard program. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for you sure. Know, is it up to date? Are people doing the training? That's right. right? And That's we're cool. getting a lot of those phone calls of do you have the training? Do you have the vendor agreements? You know, how can you help us be protected? Well, that does it for us today. But remember, it is easy to stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry. All you have to do is follow us. We're on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching. You have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.